there welcome to clear box let's test in the previous video i mentioned why test reports are important and we added mocha some report in our cypress project we are going to configure one more report which is allure report with the cypress project this is the sample report that i have generated for one of the new cypress project that i have created for showing you this allure report okay so in here as you could see in my project there are three spec files right and it's mentioning here there are three suites okay and in these files right you could see this red denotes the failed test cases and this green denotes the number of past test cases right now if i uh, just open this particular one okay and click on the fail one so this is telling me the error right in here you see all the cypress commands that were being executed for this particular test case and uh, we also have this embedded video in here okay all right now the other thing that you are seeing in here is the screenshot okay of the test failure all right then you also have graphs in here now to uh, have this ability to attach these videos and all and to generate this report what do we have to do right so there are only uh, two packages that we have to download first one is this cypress allure thing so for that go to uh, cypress plugins and then you will find this cypress allure plugin so i've opened that in the npm packages right in here you see that the other one is because uh, you want to use the allure command from your terminal so you also have to uh, add this to your project which is allure command line okay now it's a four step process i'll show you what you have to do so this is a new project that i have created and first step is to install these two dependencies okay step number 2 is again very simple so you have to open cypress plugin index.js this file basically you have to add this line and at the end you have to write this okay it's mentioned in here so i am going to not export this project but what i am going to do is in the other project that i have this one which we have been working upon so i have already added this file uh, cypress allure configuration hyphen steps dot text and i've already exported to the github uh, repository all right so the next thing that you have to do is you have to now import this package in your cypress index.js so in here i have already done that so let me close both of these files next thing is like we have to add the terminal commands right in terminal commands uh, let's focus on these three so what are we doing so the pre test in the pre test what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear out these folders okay in the test command we are going to run our test case so we are going to uh, run uh, our project and we have to enable the, we have to pass in this environment variable and we have to enable allure is equal to true okay by default it's set to false so we have to set it to true answers are when i run my test cases they would fail okay so therefore i am not solely relying on post test i have used this or and in here i am running this npm post test so what i am doing in here so in npm run post test so we are just invoking this allure report and in here we are generating the report all right that is it so this is what we have to copy and paste it in our package.json i have already done that okay so next thing is we have to run our project so let's open the terminal and write the command simple npm test so these two folders would be deleted so our test execution has started All right so now you see that this video folder is also added uh, screenshot is also added and allure result is also added because before starting our run we are clearing out everything as you could see i am clearing out allure result okay uh, i am clearing out allure report i am clearing out cypress screenshot and i am also clearing out cypress videos 
okay so screenshot is being created videos are created Allure result is created and towards the end we also have Allure report folder being created so second test case is started And that test case we are creating a file and in the second test case in that same suite we are reading the data the content of this file okay all right so third test case is started and we can see what do we have in here all right so these are all the JSON files and so on. Okay, so third test case is completed. Now Cypress is creating video or uh, compressing the video for the third spec file. Okay, so the LEO report folder is being created. All right, so test execution is successful. Now, let us do one thing. Uh, open that in the file explorer. Okay, it's saying uh, it's loading. There is something wrong. So let's open the developer's toolbar and go to the console. We will have errors in there. So we will see this cross origin resource sharing policy error. Then how are you going to open this report? One solution is you can disable this cross origin resource sharing policy in your Chrome. Okay. But then uh, that's scary. It's a bad idea. It, it will make your uh, Chrome browser vulnerable to all those uh, cross origin resource sharing attacks. Right. So don't do that. Then how can we uh, look into this report? So what you have to do is you have to run it onto a server some kind of server all right so in visual studio i have this live server extension installed all i'm going to do is i'm going to do a right click on this file and say open with live server and we see the report now okay so let us look at one of the video so yes we have those screenshots attached and as well as the video so it's a 12 second video hopefully uh, it's going to be faster Yeah, so you see we have the video and let us also look at the screenshot. So we have the screenshot as well, right? So you can read more about this Allure report and you can work with different configurations that you can pass into the report to make it more beautiful and make it more data rich. I hope you like that. Thank you so much.